Questions for further study, how were state and condition related to each other in the case of Adam, when he fell? In the case of the word becoming flesh? How are they related in the redemption of sinners? Do one state and condition always correspond? How should the state of humiliation be defined? What does Kuiper mean, when he distinguishes between the status generis and the status modi? What stages does he distinguish in the state of humiliation? Is there any biblical proof for the virgin birth, except in the Gospels of Matthew and Luke? What are the doctrinal bearings of this doctrine? Have the theories of the mythical origin of the idea of the virgin birth been found adequate? What do we understand by Christ's subjection to the law? In what legal relation did he stand as mediator during his humiliation? Was the human nature of Christ inherently subject to the law of death? Did eternal death in the case of Christ include all the elements that are included in the eternal death of sinners? How can the burial of the Saviour be conceived of as a proof that he really died? Literature, Bavink, Jeref Dogm. 3, pp 455-469, Kuiper, Dict. Dogm, De Christo 2, pp 59-108, Ibid, De Vleeswording des Words, Hodge, Syst, Theol. 2, pp 612-625, Shed, Dogm. Theol, pp 330-348, McPherson, C.H.R. Dogm. pp 321-326, Lytton, Indrod to Dogm. Theol, pp 175-191, Piper, Chrysal. Dogm. 2, pp 358-378, Schmid, Dockt. Theol of the E.V. Luth. Church, pp 383-406, Valentine, C.H.R. Theol, 2, pp 88-95, Hep, Dogm. Der E.V. Ref. Kirch, pp 351-356, Ebrard, Chrysal. Dogm. 2, pp 189, 226, Maastricht, Gojlidheit, 2, pp 601 to 795, Synopsis Purioris, pp 262, 272, Turretin, Opera, Locus 13, Q, 9 to 16, Machen, The Virgin Birth of Christ, or, The Virgin Birth of Christ, Sweet, The Birth and Infancy of Jesus Christ, Cook, Did Paul Know the Virgin Birth? Noling, The Virgin Birth, Bath, Credo, pp 62 to 94, Brunner, The Mediator, pp 303 to 376.